in this video we are going to talk about how do we exclude certain objects from uh, participating in the risk analysis process. For example, there are some IDs like SAP star, DDIC and there are role profiles called SAP, uh, SAP star uh, and other for example, a powerful profile which has broad access for development purpose or QA or display purpose you may have broad access roles. So, you want to exclude them from batch risk analysis. So, we are in the SPRO menu. So, we go to access risk analysis, batch risk analysis, maintain exclude objects from batch risk analysis, right. So, here what we are saying is we have three options, uh, four options, right. You can say user, role, profile and also user group. Let us say for example, you have a user group called uh, super or basis or anything like anything, anything, any user group if you want to restrict, you can restrict, okay. Also restrict profiles, you can restrict roles, you can also restrict users. So, in this case what we are saying here is we want SAP star in all systems. If you have multiple systems connected to GRC, say all systems uh, do not perform risk analysis, right. Okay. So, we do not want to risk, perform risk analysis here. Uh, so, you can also specify specific systems. If you want to just exclude specific systems, you can also do that, okay. And you can say active or inactive based on what we want. So, what is going to happen is these users or roles or users belonging to a particular group will not be uh, will not be analyzed for risk, okay. They will be excluded. So, this is a good thing to do because you do not want your uh, report to be too long as these uh, these roles or profiles or users may have broad access, okay. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.